October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We close this month out talking about uh, the issue of tri triple negative breast cancer or TNBC is the only type of breast cancer that doesn't have a drug therapy to prevent the disease from recurring. Black women are three times more likely to develop triple negative breast cancer than white women. 20 to 30 percent of breast cancers diagnosed in black women is in the form of triple negative. It's also more likely to take place before the age of 40 than 50. Uh, we want to talk now to a survivor of triple negative, Ricky Fairley, a six-year survivor of triple negative breast cancer, chair of the board of trustees of the Triple Negative Breast Cancer Foundation. Where, where do we stand now in terms of um, research, understanding where this comes from and why is it affecting black women? We do not know where it comes from, and we still do not know why it affects black women with such high numbers, Roland. And thank you so much for letting us talk about this today. Um, it's still unknown. There's a lot of research now underway to help us understand what we can do about it, but right now, we don't know why. Um, it is very associated with the breast cancer gene, the BRCA gene. However, I, didn't have the, I don't have the gene, so it still happens to us incredible numbers. Um, and, you know, we still have, the jury's still out on why. So we just have to deal with it. Uh, and uh, are we seeing an increase in diagnosis, or, is it, or has it leveled, leveled off? It's, it's increasing, and it's increasing in younger black women. Younger black women under 45 get breast cancer at four times the rate. Wow. And, um, and what's happening is we're getting it, you know, when you're, when you're young, you don't, you don't get mammograms. You don't necessarily check your breasts, and so they're catching it at a very severe stage, and it's harder to treat. Um, you know, the biggest thing about triple negative, which I think makes us special survivors, is that we don't have a drug to prevent recurrence, and mm -hmm. it recurs extremely aggressively. Mm -hmm. So it usually shows back up again at, within a year of treatment. Really? Yeah. So you have to do treatment again, and it's, it's a fight, and we have to fight like girls every day. Uh, and in terms of the uh, survival rate? Because for you, six years. Right. We say for others, it, it recurs uh, in about a year. It hasn't been the case for you. I am so blessed. So it actually did recur in a year, and I did chemo again, and um, I fought like a girl, and I, I was, I'm very blessed. And I know that God left me here for the purpose of talking about breast cancer, because I shouldn't be here. Mm. Um, quick question. So after, of course, we always celebrate our, our, our months of October, yes. and then as the year continues, what is it that folks can do to stay engaged or to stay involved in helping to bring awareness to this issue? Not only you know, women getting mammograms, but what else can like allies do and other organizations do to support? So we actually celebrate triple negative breast cancer during the month of, month of March. On March 3rd, we celebrate triple negative day and we do a lot of fundraisers during the month of March to kind of really kind of take us out of the October clutter. And you know, we love October, it's great, it's everything's pink, I wear pink shoes every day. Yep. We're a lot of pink, but in, in March, we celebrate triple negative month and we do a lot of fundraisers. You can go to our website, um, tnbcfoundation.org, and, and find out about you know, what we're doing during the month of March to celebrate. But to your question, Roland, um, basically 77% of women survive triple negative f uh, five years versus 93% of white women. Wow. wow. So oh, the survival Do we rate. know why? No. We, we really don't know why. It's really because there is Like no health care costs or something? No. Um, well, it could be. It could be, you know, lack of health care, lack of insurance, and catching it late. Yeah. You know, we black women do everything for everybody else. Right. Could we, you know, we don't always think of ourselves first. So, yeah. so, at, so at what age, I mean, my grandmother and great-grandmother, thank God she's still alive, both are, are breast cancer survivors. At what age should young black women get tested for this? Well, I have two daughters, at the 25 and 32. I make them check their breasts every day. And I tell everyone I know, check the breasts that you love. I know you have a pair. <laughs> and, and it's very important every day. That. You know, so I think you should check it. And if you follow me on Twitter, at Ricky Dove, I, I check my breasts. I, I send a reminder every month. Tw uh, real quick, 20 yeah. seconds. So in terms of our doctor choices, you know, because we are different and our impacts are different, is it important that we go to a black doctor who might know specifically that black women need to get checked earlier? Literally 20 seconds. Yes, you should. I mean, I, you know, you should go to what, what's going to make you good. I also think you should know your body. If mm -hmm. you feel something strange, go to the doctor mm -hmm. and get a second opinion. What's the website? It's tnbcfoundation.org. Okay, we appreciate it. Thank Thanks you. So much. Thank you so Thanks. much, Roland. We come back. John Kelly says Robert E. Lee was an honorable man. Really? And he also says there could have been a compromise to avert the Civil War. Hmm. Four fifths? Instead of three fifths? A human? We'll talk about that next. Plus, my exclusive with Chrisette Michelle. She talks about the fallout, her performing at the Trump inauguration. That's next. News One Now, TV One.